A large sounding sub can really fill a track up and keeping it separate will make the independent variation of sub and higher bass related information easier. The sub can contain one or two octaves of sine waves blended together while maintaining a very clean and flat sound. Using different oscillator types or distortion with filters can add more frequencies, making the sub sound stronger on its own. Create a new instance of Massive. Initialize its settings, then set oscillator 1 and 2 to sine square, and set to 100% sine wave. Set oscillator 2 an octave above the first. Keeping the first octave at full volume, blend the second in at a lower volume for some higher note information. Using the wavetable control on oscillator 2, you can move a little towards a square waveform. Then add a low pass filter to trim off any excessive higher frequencies. If you remain with pure sine waves, another approach is a slight distortion using insert 1 set to pre-filter, then a low pass to remove higher frequencies. You can also try a slight amount of distortion as a master effect to get a slightly overdriven sound. You can keep the envelope with a fast attack and release, with a sustain fully up to create a wall of sub sound. Or add a punchy amp envelope and add a descending pitch envelope as well for a drum-like attack. Vibrato on the pitch or amp can really make the sub shake a room as well. Volume vibrato can be used using an LFO for the sidechain modulation slot on the amp mod. A modulator set to the sidechain slot controls how strong the normal modulation is. The normal modulation is envelope 4, so adding an LFO to the sidechain will change its strength of affecting the volume. Pitch bend range is best left to one octave to keep within the lower bass range. Going too low will drop beyond the range of most speakers and only make your master levels quieter due to the volume overloads created from low bass sounds. Voicing is best set to mono rotate and legato trigger to allow nice trill patterns. Glide is a variable choice again However, I prefer to program any long glide parts using the pitch bend instead. Now your sub is built, you need to add an EQ to each higher part and roll off low end to prevent a clash with your sub bass.
If they overlap too much, the overall volume will be unnecessarily increased. If the roll-off is too high, you'll hear a gap between the higher bass and the sub-bass. So find both extremes and decide on the middle ground that sounds best. 